Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late July 2020, we're in the FA18C and we're looking at the bit test page. So, on one of our DDIs, we're going to go menu, tactical, support, bit. So, bit, B-I-T, built in test. Planes in the 50s and 60s began to get computerized. Now, computers need to have tests done on them and what they found was it was very difficult to keep a plane fully tested because you would have to bring ground crew in with external machinery to test each of the systems very time consuming very inefficient so what they did starting with the general electrics f111 was put inbuilt tests within all of the sub system so various systems we've got an rwr we've got a countermeasure system we've got a helmet mounted display all of those things have built in tests that we can run to make sure they're all working properly and then we have the bit page which allow us to access all of those built in tests so current bit failures being reported in the middle and flashing FLIR LTD I don't even know what most of these are to be honest but not ready means that they are either in test or not installed on the plane or not turned on degraded means that it's failed that particular bit test now note at the moment this is still early access so this is not complete at the moment but we found it is mostly working then we've got the subsystem so we've got fcs flight control systems we can go in there we've got mc1 mc2 a and b and if we went back to the main menu we can see the sensors radar flur laser designator and so on and we've got stores communications nav displays status monitor and electronic warfare if i were to click on auto here it would do a full bit test of all systems in the hornet now i suggest that you never do this because that takes probably hours it takes several minutes to do a bit test on each system on each subsystem sorry so to do all of the systems and there might be i don't know maybe 100 systems in this thing it's going to take a long time next selected bit is modal so if i want to click selected bit like that i can just then click for instance fcs or sensors or stores and it will test all of the subsystems within that particular subsystem so all of the subsystems within the fcs or within the sensors so I'll turn that off if i wanted to stop a test that was in play because they can take a long time just hammer the stop button there next i want to show a certain way of curing some of these bit failures so for instance the flur is currently not ready lasers not ready just ones that i'm picking out that i understand helmet displays not ready rwr is not ready so what we do for instance is i'm going to turn my helmet mounted display on and it's disappeared from the bit failure list it's no longer a failure it's on and it's probably doing its own bit test at the moment RWR, if I want to turn that on, system is now on, it's no longer a bit failure and it's going to go on and probably do its own uh, bit test. And I've got a FLIR, so the T-Pod, turn him on. Uh, yep, it's disappeared. Laser designator I can't turn on on the ground anyway, so I can't do that. You get the idea, so they're disappearing from the bit failure list. Next thing I want to show, let's just go into, pick one of these random, one of these subsystems. Let's go to NAV for instance, we've got INS, ADC, ILS, uh, radar altimeter, TACAN, uh, beacon is off because it's literally not even programmed yet. Now they can either have a result once you've run the bit test of degraded, which we've already talked about, or PBIT GO or GO. Can you explain the difference between PBIT GO and GO, RC? GO means the uh, system has initiated the bit and has completed without failure. The PBIT GO means the I bit has not been initiated and the system periodic bit is not reporting any failures roger things that we can do here just just for fun let's run a bit on the ins so we're just going to select ins sub subsystem here and we're just going to run that through it's in test at the moment at the end of this test it will give us degraded go or p bit go speed up obviously and that can take a long time so still going and we get a p bit go ILS is not here because for this, this reason it's turned off. So let's get ILS on. ILS, turn it on and click ILS to run the test. In test. And we got to go for that. Extra options down here. Almost all of them, in fact, I think all of them down on the lower areas of the subsystems are not functional. So things like maintenance, 
and calibrations and INS maintenance and stuff like that are not going to be functional because obviously they're just not relevant to DCS. So that's shown how we can diagnose faults, how we can test individual systems, how we can detect whole groups of systems or how we can run test everything. In fact one thing I should say is if we go into just pick anything that there whatever that is if we want to test the group of systems and in this case we've got SDC, MU, AISI, DFERS, probably fuel quantity and FF, whatever these are I don't know what they are we can press all here and it will go through and sequence all of these tests there okay I'm not going to do that because it's going to take forever out of interest we've got config which we don't believe is any relevance in DCS but it's just nice to have that uh, programmed in there. If you ever want to go back to the main bit page obviously press bit at the top there. Another thing to point out is that running the FCS group test is a little bit different. You can't just click this button. Instead you have to hold that switch there which is going to be that control there. So we're going to go into FCS. We're going to hold that button that I just showed you. We're going to press FCS there. It's going to go and test everything and the funnier thing about this one is you can see it wiggling the surfaces and doing everything it needs to and we've got a go a full go on all of those there we'll get back to our main screen and that's the bit page as it stands late july 2020 i hope that was useful and see you later